welcome to lesson one updated in making a Unite VR app for your Quest. <clears throat> this update's come about because the integration packages have been updated. Okay, so the first thing to do is have your Oculus app installed and make sure you have your device plugged in. Now mine's for some reason saying use USB 3. It is plugged into USB 3, so I'm not sure why it's doing that. Um, I also found that mine didn't quite work on my desktop and my laptop, so I went and just ticked on uh, Open XR Set as Active, and it seems to be functioning now. Okay, so um, I'm going over to the Unity Hub uh, installs. I'm currently using the 2022 long term support version. Uh, I've also got the add modules where I've got the Android build ready to go. Um, I won't use that in the first part, but I will do in the second part. Okay, so um, I'm going to create a project. Well, I've already created a project, uh, but make sure you create a new project. Um, and I've just gone with 3D Core. I've given it a sensible name and a sensible place to save it. So I'm moving to Unity itself. The uh, first thing I'm going to do is come to my window, go on to my package manager, because what we need is the new updates. Now, if I went to the old stuff back I use on my first resource, so if you're on, if you're new to Unity, uh, sorry, if you're new to my channel, then please subscribe because there'll be more Quest videos coming in the next few weeks. Uh, if you've a, pre a previous visitor, then welcome back. And um, this is just updating due to the new changes. So if I just go onto my assets um, and we look for the old version I showed in my original lesson one, it's now been depreciated. It still works, so if you still want to stick to the old stuff, you can, it's fine, but obviously it's only a matter of time before they do remove it. So if I went to Oculus Depreciated and it says, um, use Meta XR packages instead. Um, so if you go to the asset store, you get all of this stuff. And it's like, where do you start? It's a little bit overwhelming. But after a bit of faffing, basically what we need is just to go the all-in-one SDK. So we can click on it um, and then add it to your assets. Uh, that should then appear in your Unity package manager. So there it is, at version 60. I'm now going to just install this uh, and I shall pause the video while it does that. Okay, that took a few minutes. Um, I'm just going to say don't send for now. Um, so we'll notice I'm on the December 19th, 2023 version, so it's quite current. Um, yes, I'm going to restart the editor. Okay, so it's now restarted. Um, I can close this down. So the first thing I'm going to do is go on to build settings. Um, I'm going to go into player settings. We've got a new tab now called, well, a new, a new menu called Oculus. And we can see it's got some outstanding issues. So I'm just going to say, yep, please fix all of them for me. And again, I shall give that a moment or two to do that. So it's fixed those things, but I've got a couple of other errors. So I'm going to say, yep, fix all these as well. And then we say, uh, yep, apply all to those. Right, that should be our, our settings done. So, the next thing we're going to do is close this down. You'll notice we've now got an Oculus and a Meta menu, so I'm looking forward to playing about with, with some of these things, particularly the voice control. Um, I'm going to delete the existing camera, we don't need that. I'm going to come down to Packages. Uh, scroll down a little bit more. And this is now very similar to my previous tutorial, so I'm going to click on the XR Core Prefabs. Uh, OVR camera rig, so I'm just going to drag this. I like to drag straight to the actual um, hierarchy scene because then it puts it in my zero zero coordinates. Uh, just so I can see anything, see something, I'm just going to put a plane which will act as my ground. Uh, I'm going to right click again and add a capsule. Again, this is just so I can see that I have something to look at. I'm just going to move this back a little bit. Go into the game view. Um, we can't see anything because it's a bit too low. Let's just move that up a little bit and hopefully we can see. There we go, we can see the ground. Not sure I can't see the capsule, maybe it's facing the wrong direction. I'll worry about that in a little while. Um, okay, so we've now got our camera rig, got our plane capsule. So I'm going to come up to the camera rig down to eye level. I'm just going to say do this to um, floor level. Um, in fact, so I'll put on stage, put on the stage value. So it'll know where your ground of your um, broom boundary calibration is. So hopefully, if you've done everything correct, I'm just going to put my headset on and just make sure I'm powered up. Yep, I'm currently in Oculus Link, so do make sure if you've got your Quest plugged in. Uh, this will work for Rift, by the way, this will work for Rift Quest 2 and Quest 3. Um, so if I now press play, hopefully it should launch in my Quest. Okay, so yep, you should be able to see that. I'm just going to have to put my thumb over the end so I can see what you can see. 
there we go so we can see we do have movement so that's that's basically it we've got our quest control um, through unity into our quest that mine's in the quest 3 um, now if you want to put hands on there I'm going to go up and track in space open up left anchor and right anchor I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to drag the controller prefab and we'll drag one straight to left anchor and we'll drag another one onto my right anchor I can now choose the controller uh, where's it gone to? I've misplaced it. Where did it go? I just misdragged, didn't I? It's there. Let's pull that over. Okay, so now I can click on this, come to this side, and just go, this is a left touch. I can click on to the other one and go, this is a right touch. Uh, this will just be the, based the visualisation you can see on screen. So now, when I press play, we should see the controllers. Yep, there we go, we can see the controllers. Okay, so that should be enough for now to get you started. Remember, if, if, you've, um, if you've now got yours up and running, just jump over to my rest of my playlist, and from lesson two, it will take you through a whole bunch of different things you can do with the quest. And again, please subscribe, like this video, leave a positive comment below. If you've got a suggestion for future videos, also leave that comment below. Um, I shall be back very soon with more videos on how we can integrate, hopefully, some VR and XR, AR stuff with the quest. I shall see you in the next video.